Hi, I'm Guillermo, senior video producer for Chaiwan. Today I'm gonna show you how to make black bean brownies. Yes, you've heard me right. It's gluten-free, you can make it completely vegan. I mean, everything that I have here is vegan except for the chocolate morsels, and it's way more healthy than any other brownie version out there. I mean, the ones that take flour and eggs and all that stuff. This will be a game changer for children and stoners alike. This is a 15 ounce can of black beans. I've strained and rinsed really well. Adding my black beans in. Next thing we're gonna put in is our cocoa powder. So it's two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Okay. Next ingredient we're gonna add is quick oats. This is half a cup of quick oats. And now for the sweet part, I'm not gonna use sugar. You can use sugar if you want to. You can use honey. You can use other sugar replacements like stevia or whatever. I saw most recipes really recommended maple syrup and I was able to find pure maple syrup. So half a cup of pure maple syrup. We're gonna do two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. These are my additional flavorings. This is completely optional. Add half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then I'm gonna add just a pinch of chili powder. That to me, I don't know, it just makes a lot of sense with the black beans, right? Like with that, plus the chocolate, the cocoa powder, it's gonna bring in the spirit of Mexican chocolate. We're gonna do half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then the last thing that I'm adding is I melted a little bit of refined coconut oil and I'm adding a quarter cup here. We're just gonna mix all our ingredients well together. All right, this looks good. This looks like brownie batter cone. It smells good. Now it smells like Mexican chocolate. It actually tastes pretty good too. Hmm. The next thing we need to do is, I'm gonna spray this with some coconut oil. All right. Oh, shit. I forgot to fold in my chocolate chips. So I'm gonna do it right here. So I folded in my semi-sweet chocolate chips. All right, we got all, all our batter in there. It's looking good, it's gonna be super chocolatey. Last touch, and this is for decoration just to like double down on the chocolate. I'm gonna put bigger chocolate chips morsels on top. Check that out. So I just dropped my brownies in the oven. That's gonna cook for 15 to 18 minutes. Then we're gonna let it cool down for 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna cover it and put it in my fridge. I'm gonna let it set overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to taste my black bean brownies. All right, my brownie was setting all night in my refrigerator and now it's the moment of truth. Looks like a brownie. Smells nice, smells pretty chocolatey. Let's see about this consistency. It feels like those fudgy, not super cakey brownies. Now this is the real test. Now it's the moment of truth. Let's taste this. Tastes pretty damn good. This tastes like a fudge brownie. This is really good. The additional flavorings that I added, the cinnamon and the chili are very subtle. This is very just like fudgy chocolate forward.